Hello everyone, this is Viren and welcome to the fantasy match preview for the game between Hyderabad and Bangalore. Now before I get to the preview, keep in mind that this is the last day of the third phase of the leaderboard on fan to play with the top three winners going to Australia to watch the T20 World Cup finals. It's an all expense paid trip. So if you're hovering around the top, ensure that you make 25 teams so that you can seize the advantage and take away the big prize. Along with that, there are a lot of other cash prizes on offer. So go make 25 teams now and I'll also announce the new leaderboard very soon. Go make your teams. So first up, we'll discuss the keepers and the batters in the preview. I think we have two really good keeping choices, Nicholas Puran and Dinesh Karthik. Both are looking in good form. Both have one of the best strike rates in the tournament. Currently, I'm going with Puran just because he gets a little bit more opportunity to bat. Obviously, if you feel Karthik is batting first and would get that chance, then he's an equally good choice. Apart from that, four batters. First one is Rahul Tripathi. I think in comparison to Williamson, he's been batting one scale even better. And especially when he's chasing, and hence, yes, he's a differential vice-captain for me in this game. Other player obviously would be Williamson. He's slowed down. He's not really got that momentum that we expect him to. But hopefully that comes soon. And the other two picks quite obvious in Virat Kohli and Favre Tuplessy. Virat is not really amping up the strike rate yet, but he's starting to get those important runs. And yes, for us as fantasy players, till we get the points, we're happy. And Fab Tuplessy, obviously, he's looking in that good momentum and batting well. So, becomes a really good choice. Now, let's get to the next section. And now, let's get to the all-rounders and the bowlers. One all-rounder itself for me in Glenn Maxwell, who'll also be my captain. He got some surprise wickets in that last game. Got you two good wickets, didn't really get you the runs, but still 70 points with his fielding and bowling. So, I think that's exemplary because when he bats well, then it's only going to be more. And hence, a good captaincy choice. Apart from that, five bowlers, three from RCB, two from Sunrisers. First one is Bhuvneshwar Kumar. I think he's hitting the line and length well, not getting too many wickets, I know. But I think we see that trend with many top bowlers where they are bowling really well, but not getting too many wickets. But that should also come sooner rather than later. Second pick would be Omran Malik. He's bowled 157 kilometers in that last match, which is exemplary. Obviously, that line and length was off. But I think with the amount of wickets that he's got in the tournament, it's only going to get better for him. And he's a good credit-saving pick for us. Apart from that, my other three bowlers, Josh and Harshal, both very obvious choices. They're bowling so well and getting your wickets. They're also GL captaincy and vice captaincy candidates. And the last pick is Vanindu Hasaranga. Bowled decently in the last game. And if I feel the pitch is slow, then he might again be my small league captaincy or vice captaincy choice. So you two go make your team now. Now let's look at the matchups. So finally, this is what the team looks like. One keeper, four batsmen, one all rounder, and five bowlers. Now let's look at your favorite section. The GL drops the matchups. So, two key matchups in this game. First one is Rahul Tripathi, dismissed twice by Mohamed Siraj, and the strike rate is only about 100. So, it can be a really, really important matchup between them. And if you feel like there'll be seam movement, then obviously you can move away from not making Tripathi the vice captain. And the second matchup is Bhuvi, who dismissed Kohli thrice. And again, that strike rate is about 100. So, again, similarly, if you feel like there will be movement up front, and if you want to take a GL punt on Kohli, the option is open for you. And then we have the battle of attrition in Sean Abbott versus Maxwell. Abbott has dismissed him four times. But again, Maxwell's strike rate there is 140, 150. So it's really exemplary and will be a fun battle to watch out for. So let's get to it and go make your GL drops now. And now the most fun section, the challenge picks, the fan to play challenge picks where you can make your team with just two, three or four players in this game. I'm going with three picks, keeping it simple. Maxwell, Kohli and Williamson, all three are very decent and stable choices and one gives you all-round value too. So you two go make your picks now and remember to join us on the Telegram channel for your final team, second innings updates and lots more. All the good luck to you.